Are you a high-performing entrepreneur who has a morning routine yet you just don't feel like your wheels are turning once you're done? Maybe you just feel stuck. It's like you're just comfortable and it's like nothing turns you on. Why is that? My name's Joe Mafu with Master Life by Design and today's video is why morning rituals fail high-performing entrepreneurs. And it's a little bit different than you may think. So before we jump in, I do have to say this. I want to apologize to you guys because last week I only did two videos. Since the beginning of this year, I've only done, I've done three videos a week, but I only did two last week. Here's why, and I must apologize. Hopefully some of you have sympathy for me. Other, others of you say, I hold a high standard, screw you, Joe. And that's okay. But last Friday, I got a vasectomy. So I got snipped and I am recovering. I was on the week couch on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so was just recovering. I'm still, right now as we speak, I'm about 60%. But people are like, why did you do that? Like, it's like, I want worry free intimacy with my wife. We're done at two boys. We are okay. If we ever want more, we can adopt. But I figured if my wife can push out two children, you know, I'm sure I could go through this procedure. And it's funny because I was talking to clients about it. And I had to use all the coaching and mindset tools that we teach here on this channel and at Master Life by Design. I had to start first, I had to find out who had the results I wanted. And I went out and found people who've been through that same process and guess what? I learned what they did and how they thought and I learned that it wasn't as bad as the way I was thinking. And then I made a video a couple weeks, a couple days ago or a couple videos ago, should I say. Uh, talking about how fear, things are worse in our head than it actually when we go do it. And I had to remind myself of that. Take my own advice as I go through this. And I did. And so as I was laying there and remembering this isn't as bad as I thought. And once I was numbed up and saw some burning, it was weird. <laughs> I remember this wasn't as scary as I thought, right? It was all in my head. Remember, everything is 80% psychology, 20% strategy. So anyway, needless to say, uh, full recovery and back on the videos for you guys because look, if there's one thing I know is that you know us high performing entrepreneurs out there, we have and we play an impact on people getting healthier, on people getting better off financially, our relationships thriving, stimulating the economy, making people think differently. So you guys are so important. So if you're a high performing entrepreneur who's going to that next level in their mindset, their marriage and their business, this is your channel because we want you to be more, more hungry, more fulfilled, more profitable now more than ever. And with the way times are now, it's like the opportunities are ripe, they're golden. You can take advantage of making an impact for yourself and for others and making an income. So anyway, let's jump in because I'm excited about this and we won't take too long because here's the deal. <clears throat> you're, the reason why your morning rituals are failing you is not because you don't have a morning ritual. Most of you, you do have one. It's not that you don't perform your ritual because most of you, you perform it. Where I found the biggest challenge for entrepreneurs personally and professionally is not that you don't have it or execute on it. It's just that you do the same thing over and over and over. Think about this. If you and your partner were to do the same position when you were intimate all the time, over and over and over, how exciting would it be? Right? Like it would get boring. So it's not that your, your ritual is effective. The reason why your ritual is failing you is you're freaking bored of it. You're so familiar. You need to change it up. You need variety. You need to change it up. And I was working with a client the other day around this and it was a huge breakthrough for them because they're like, why am I even doing it? It's like, it does nothing for me. I'm just wasting time. I could be putting this hour or two towards your, their work and making more money or something like that. And so we had to help them see that the point of the morning ritual is to turn all circuits on. Well, if you're so familiar with it, it's like no circuitry should be getting turned on. So what do we need to do? The first thing you need to do is you gotta change it up, right? Instead of, <clears throat> and maybe even the, I'll start with the frequency. So maybe you go work out for an hour. Maybe you only work out for 15 minutes, but it's high intensity, right? Maybe instead of, you know, reading 10 pages, you read two pages. So when I go travel, my morning routine, it changes. 
So I don't sit there and I just pick up a book for 30 minutes or put on an audio for 30 minutes. I might only do that for five minutes. My the, the duration will change. I'll shorten the duration. That's the first thing that happens when I travel. All my, my morning ritual, I keep the same things in place, but I change the duration. But for some of you, you need to change the duration in which you're doing things, the frequency in which you're doing them. And the second thing is, you may need to change up the order in which you do that, right? Going back to my silly example in your marriage, when you're intimate with your partner, some of you it's just like make out and go, right? Well, maybe there needs to be a little bit more foreplay, a little bit more touching, rubbing, massaging, right? Lubing, I don't know, but that's good. You change it up. You change the order in which you do things. So for me, I wake up at four in the morning. I'll go to the gym. I'll listen to my audio program on the way there. I'll come back. I'll do a meditation. I'll shower, um, you know, get some healthy within me. And so the way I could change it up is I might wake up, meditate. I might journal. Then I can go to the gym and listen to my audios and come home, shower and eat and go. Right. So changing up the order, because otherwise you're just bored and you're you're literally your morning ritual is failing you. And so you're not doing anything. You're just wasting time. So change up the duration. Number one, change up the order that you do it in. Number two. And number three is you might need to change up what you're doing as a whole. Just change it all up. So you might, instead of reading a book, you might listen to a book or vice versa. Instead of, you know, doing high intense cardio, you might do yoga, right? Or vice versa. You, instead of, you know, eating a healthy breakfast, no, you keep eating a healthy breakfast, (laughs) right? You're not going to go eat junk food, right? Um, It's like the other day, my son pulled out a bag of potato chips first thing in the morning. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? No, (laughs) I'm raising you to be a high performing entrepreneur. Potato chips isn't going to work. It's not fueling you, bud. Um, And so you may need to change up what you're doing and give you some variety. Instead of, you know, going for a run, maybe you go for a, a mountain bike ride. Maybe you do yoga, maybe you do CrossFit. You need to change up your routine. Most high performing entrepreneurs, they're starting businesses, they're starting something new, they're taking on new projects, they're taking on new goals. Well, sometimes in your ritual, you need to take on a new aspect for that ritual. Substitute one thing out. When you might sit there and say, well, Joe, I do enjoy this. That's okay, you can enjoy it. It's not like we're pulling it out forever. It's just we're substituting it for a period of time. So I would encourage, sometimes I encourage my clients to pick a time, test it, right? Because everyone's different. Some people, they get used to their ritual after three to six months. Cool, awesome. Some of you, after about a month, you're like, I need to change this thing up. So you gotta test and know thyself. That's my number one principle in coaching, know thyself. And you gotta test, say, hey, after about a month, I know I'm gonna need to change it up. Maybe it's the order in which you do it. Maybe it's in the duration in which you do it. Maybe it's something where you substitute it out for something else, but know thyself. If you do that, your morning ritual won't fail you. It will serve you and then you'll be filled up. You'll be all circuitry on to go out and make an impact. Some of you, you get stuck. And if that's you, what I would encourage you to do is go in the description below, fill out that one-on-one coaching application so myself or one of our high-performing coaches can really help work with you, mold your routine with you, and find out what's holding you back, what's challenging you, so you can have that breakthrough to go to that next level. Because here's what I know. If you're making six figures, you should be at seven. If you're making seven, you should be at eight. If you're making eight, you should be at nine. If you're making an impact one-on-one, also make it into a group. Go bigger. The only time we should settle down is when we're on our deathbed, really. We should always be striving and growing for more. So if you feel like you need that support, reach out so we can support you. And if you found value in this video, which I know you did, go ahead and hit that like button, but most importantly, subscribe. Click that subscribe button, and right next to it's this little little bell. I was gonna say yellow, it's like all bells are yellow. But go click that bell so that you can get notified every time we come out with a video. I promise you guys, I will be coming out with three videos for a week from now on. I'm not planning to have any more vasectomies, <laughs> hopefully never again, right? But I want you guys to know I'm here for you guys. 
three times a week. And most importantly, what I would love is for you to comment. If there's a video you want me to make a, a to or a topic you want me to make a video on, let me know. Or if you have a question, I'd love to take that question and answer them. And that's something, a new twist that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna post it on social media so you can do that too. But I found that if you have a question and you really can't find time to, to jump on and get into a coaching program or with the Coach 101, at least let me help you with a, a question or an, an answer a question that you might have. I love doing panels when I go into speaking engagements and stuff like that. I love being on panels to help people. I usually it's around high performing entrepreneurs, but if you have something, please let me know. Love to answer that for you. So with that, appreciate your flexibility over this last week. Looking forward to making many more videos with you guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.